our last video of our Viking River cruise in Germany, we uh, shared our experiences of our dinner at Rudesheim and that evening. The next morning we woke up and the boat was moving. Usually the boat traveled at night as we slept and then we'd wake up in a new port, but this day was special because it was Castle Day. We booked our trip for December because it has always been my dream to see the German Christmas markets. The problem with traveling in December is that it's pretty cold and it's hard to enjoy the upper decks of the boat, which we just imagined would be totally beautiful in the summer on warm evenings. But we uh, just put up with the weather the way it was. The trip down the river looking at the castles this morning was just magical. And it wasn't just castles, there were wineries and I really enjoyed seeing all the different trains going by and well worth the trip. Cruising down the river during the day was really a highlight for us. The views were spectacular. We really could see into the towns, the people living there, how they were and the buildings built and the trains the wineries, the castles, just amazing. I'm on deck now. Uh, just wanted to show the speed that the boat goes. It's pretty slow, uh, which allows for you to see everything you're looking at. You know, you get a good, good detailed view of what's on shore, like Beth said in the intro. So, uh, hope you enjoy it. Oh, there are goats. They're very hard to see, but a goat is a goat. In your way? No, you're fine. You can barely see them. There's some white dots. Those are goats. Or sheep. We don't know. Or sheep. But they're on the side of the mount. And then there's this. This castle. This is another castle. We're racing a Camaro. <laughs> that is not a Camaro, honey. <laughs> oh, I see. Camaro the 12th? Yep. Let me back in. It's too cold out here. On the whole cruise, this is like our first opportunity that we've had to be outside while we were underway. It's kind of cold out here, but there's, there's castles. There's beautiful hills. There's a guy doing a whole commentary. Uh, he's our cruise director. Guy's really nice. He's, he knows, he's been through here quite a bit, so. But, everywhere you go, like, evidence of people being here. Like on this hill here. Just seeing all the rock faces that have been terraced for like growing wine or fruit trees. So. Very, like, developed area. It's been fun. We're going to go up on deck soon and we'll get some 360 views, but it's a little chilly, so we'll see how it goes today. It's up over there again. So, um, it's just, a, I love rivers, you know that. And yeah, well, we're river rats. Yeah, so we're river rats, and this is a pretty fancy river. <laughs> it's a pretty fancy river. This isn't river rats, these are river mice. Yeah, oh boy. So, oh, look, look there's a cruise our, ship. A cruise ship. Look at us. We're the same as you. <sighs> we're nicer. Uh, oh. Look, the castle. Yeah. 
Look, a cruise ship it's from Switzerland. Imagine that's your commute. <laughs> you think people notice how beautiful it is every day? <laughs> Not every day. They're sitting and reading the paper. So here we have Pfalz and Grafenstein. And then on the right hand side is called Grunfels, which is another castle hotel. So Pfalz and Grafenstein, I'll tell you a bit more in a minute as we pass around. So I wanted to mention about the uh, Pfalz and Grafenstein Castle. This one has been constructed uh, for purely economic reasons and it served in the beginning as a custom uh, station. Then at the uh, 1970s, until the beginning of the 1970s, uh, well, 1970s uh, end of 1970s, now I get it, uh, it was used as a signal station for the traffic here on the Rhine. What's up? Castle? It's right there, right behind you. Yeah. Okay. Looking at these vineyards, the guy was just explaining that the way they harvest is they lower people on ropes to pick the grapes. Isn't that crazy? And then they pull the grapes up by tractor, and it's mostly Eastern Europeans doing the work. So, I guess that's where the wine, uh, the wine, the grapes like to live. That's where you go to grow them. Yeah, I got some good train video for you. Okay. So, it's a little warmer. The wind must have picked up in yeah, our direction. Yeah. So, yeah, like Beth said, this is like a, a, a what train said? LGB. LGB trains. This is the big, the bigger train. Oh, bigger than old. Right, let's see if we get this one as he goes by. I included this part in the video because of the watchtowers. This little town was a walled town. You can see parts of the walls and then see if you can count the towers that stick up for the town wall. So it was it was all enclosed and they built these towers to 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 protect the town. I thought it was pretty neat. So there's a few of them. The video goes on a little bit longer, but you can see them and the different ages of the towers as well but kind of classic thought it was cool
Okay, this is an LGB train set in real life. You have the station, you have the bridge. The yeah, pier is a little unusual, but that could be too. And then off in the distance, all the little houses. See, we didn't know we should put vineyards behind the buildings when we built train sets, did we? It's always just trees. So there you go. Look, a castle. So that's just about going to wrap up this part of our cruising on the Rhine. Um, this part right here that you're looking at, our, our cruise director was playing a song in the background uh, about Lorelei, who is the um, siren of the Rhine River to speak. And um, he, he was playing it in the background. We put it on and uh, we got a copyright claim when I went to post this video. So I had to go back and I'm voicing over now what we were going to say. But... That's about the end of this video. There's a little bit of music at the end that I'm just going to talk over so that you really can't tell what it is is playing so we don't have the copyright claim. And uh, our next stop and our next video is going to be about our arrival at the corner of Germany. And we took a really cool tour of a really cool castle. And we're going to have that in our next video. But that's about it for now. So... If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you up and down the road.